what's good magic gang welcome back to my channel here at magic at tea all right today's message is you are the child that has been prophesized all right please take what resonates leave what doesn't this really came to my spirit this message okay you have been prophesized either by a psychic either by somebody that the divine has touched it doesn't matter your age okay this is also a message I'm getting. Like, it doesn't matter what age you're in because the blueprint that God has written for this prophesized child is going to play whenever it's supposed to play. If you feel this is you and this is why you click this video, because remember, even when we doubt something or question something, our intuition can always be our best guide. So what does your intuition tell you? That's how you'll know. What is your Holy Spirit telling you? The inner you telling you. That inner knowledge in you telling you. Okay, are you the next child that has been prophesied? If this is you, comment down below, I am the child. You can just comment, I am, all right? Keep it simple, I am, because this message is for you. The, the message is already telling you who you are, all right? So I'm going to start this message with my very own Oracle deck, the Chosen Ones, one, four, four. Definitely you chosen. This deck, uh, if you're ever interested, the link is in the description box, okay? This deck is supposed to enlighten you, awaken you, literally activate the inner powers that you have within you, especially as a chosen being. And you are most definitely chosen. So if you don't have this deck, I highly recommend it for you, my chosen child, all right? So let's see what this message is about. But I'm really getting something that you're meant to have a big mission here on earth. You have something that you're going to do that even Nostradamus knew what was coming. Even like I'm hearing even biblical times people were knowing about this child that I was going to be born. And they didn't know when, but I'm hearing it's in this era that you're going to make a big movement here on this new earth. And if this is you already and this is resonating, comment below. I am the prophet. I am the prophecy for this new earth. I am the prophecy for this new earth, okay? So let's start. I'm going to use this Chosen Ones deck. Let's see what messages want to come through. First card we have is Tower Reader, okay? So it's like I said, some sort of psychic or Tower Reader could have already told you something about this. Um, or maybe you yourself are a Tower Reader. You're very psychic here. Or you have a channel. We have psychic attacks, okay? So this is why, okay, this is what's happening. This child that I'm speaking to, this person obviously has been prophesized. You're gonna encounter a lot of enemies, okay? Because definitely the enemy wants to make sure that they can eliminate you, this divine ancient being. You are a divine ancient being, right? And these enemies, these negative forces, negative dark forces that are shadows working behind the scenes, they wanna make sure that they eliminate you because they know that if this prophecy becomes true, you're going to cause a big form of change, some form of catalyst of something. You're going to be the catalyst of this great big change in a very positive way. All right, comment below. No weapon form against me shall prosper. But you are surrounded by enemies. And this isn't supposed to scare you because, like I said, this is something big you're meant to be doing. You're going to be protected while doing so. But you are going to have a lot of enemies and forces against you because of what you are meant to be. I'm hearing there's somebody out there looking for you already. This particular child that has been prophesized, you're being attacked right now psychically. You might be feeling mental blockages um, or interceptions that they're trying to send to your mind okay for you to think negatively feel low vibrational when in fact you know there's something powerful that runs through your blood and if this is you comment below something powerful runs through my blood okay i'm gonna write that down too i'm also hearing it's ancient this is like an ancient gift or an ancient deity runs through your blood. And this reminds me of my video that I did about two months ago where I said you are the reincarnation of somebody powerful, but you are in disguise. I feel like I'm speaking to a child that has been prophesized because you are the reincarnation of a powerful entity, a powerful being that's, that's running through your blood, okay? Yeah. We have the Aries energy emperor. Like I said, you're meant to be a king or a queen. In this lifetime that's why you're being attacked you're being attacked for your spiritual throne for the power and position that you hold right the leadership that you're meant you're, you're a leader so you're going to lead in a nation you're gonna do something here Capricorn Virgo Taurus and Sagittarius okay you're gonna be very wealthy as well very very wealthy comment below I am wealthy 
But it's been prophesied that this power you're going to have is going to be intellectual, physical, but it's also going to be um, power because of the money and the abundance that you're manifesting. I'm seeing somebody here literally have millions to billions. And with this Sagittarius energy, it's like you're an angel. An angel has prophesied about you. And this reminds me of Jesus with Virgin Mary. Like Archangel Gabriel spoke to Virgin Mary and told her about Jesus and this child. Even though she was a virgin, right? There was a... Uh, forgot what the word is right now, but... That's basically what's going on here. Angels have spoken about you. Heaven has spoken about this prophecy. And I feel like specific tower reader may, might have been channeling this. I don't know if it's me, if someone out there, or if you are. I don't, you know, but I'm really feeling like divination. These angels are trying to gather as much tower readers as possible to deliver these messages to this angelic being. Comment below, I am anointed, I am divine, and that's what I'm getting. You have the ability to communicate with spirit. While at the same time, you have the ability to touch people's lives. Okay, tell me more. Yeah, you're you're being watched. I'm also, I also heard you're under investigation. So that's why you might be under psychic attacks at this time. It's because you are someone that has been prophesied for centuries. Who knows how long? Million years ago. Okay, they spoke of this great leader is what I hear. And so people have been trying to find you, but you have been in some sort of disguise here. Eight of Swords. Imprisonment. Jail. Clarify this Eight of Swords. The Ten of Pentacles speaks of legacy and inheritance. So like I said, you're somebody that's meant to have generational wealth. It doesn't matter what sex you are, whether you're male or female, but I am getting divine feminine, divine masculine energy. You could have been in the military, you don't have to, but I am getting like a spiritual warrior energy, somebody that has been wounded, that has gone through trauma, but yet you're a hero. You're a hero that has gone through trauma, okay? You're going to be of service here. Rebirth. You're going to make a major change around the world. Okay? Something that's just never been done before is really what I'm getting. All right, let's see. Tell me more about this child that has been prophesized. We have the wells and thermal springs returning to source. You're literally like creating this infinite drops that can tap into source. This is, reminds me of the Ace of Cups. You're tapping into source, returning to God, returning to the universe, returning to source, whatever is your key word that you believe in. All right, you could be 38 years old, doesn't matter your age, like I said. Whenever God has, has made this child be prophesied for this particular event or change in the world, that's when it's going to happen. You're meant to have a lot of money, a lot of power. A powerful family too, I heard. The sacred three. All right, you might be seeing 333. Three, three. This is because, you know, you're being asked to work with the number three, do everything in threes, right? Somebody's name here could be Willie or Jack, William. Mother God is caring child. So like I said, if you speak to your mother, okay, if you have access to speak to your mother, try to find out what what happened during the time of your birth 
There's something particularly that happened here during the time of your birth, okay? Maybe that happened to your mother. She could have had a vision, something, when you were a baby. But this, this mother knew, okay? So there's a big energy of, like, speak to your mom. Tap into this, this energy of the person that gave birth to you. Okay, let's see what else is going on here. So what I'm getting is that this person who has been prophesized is also right now under attack because somebody's planning to betray you. That's why I'm getting the energy of like Jesus with Judas, right? I'm getting this energy of a big betrayal that's going on behind your back because they know that if this prophecy becomes true, then they're done. That darkness is done. That dark power is done. Somebody comment below. This dark power is gone. But I am getting the story of when Jesus was being anointed and when Jesus was being betrayed. So you could be going under some form of like anointing in your life right now, right? That's because you're chosen and you have something that you're meant to be doing here. Let's speak about the spiritual warfare you're under right now. I hear there's like a lot of gossip in the workplace. People like are talking about your brilliance. Okay. Yeah, what am I talking about? Look at it right here. Gossip. A lot of people are gossiping about you. It's like they're spreading your name unintentionally because your name will be heard. Comment below, my name will be heard. So there are strangers, people you never met who are looking for you is what I'm trying to tell you, okay? They're people you have no idea about that know about you and are looking for you. I am being told that you have like some form of family member around you that has casted a spell on you so that you don't remember who you are or that you don't remember what exactly is it that you have to do here. See, they know. This family member, I don't know who, could be a mother, father, I don't know auntie uncle whatever someone here knows who you are but they've kept it in some form of secret from you i don't know if it's to protect you but i am getting that if they have done a spell to make you forget who you are they're gonna get karma comment below on my enemies this is the season when my enemies get karma there we go this is the season where your enemies get karma okay yeah it's your justice honey you're here to restore justice comment below i am here to restore justice Everything is going to be put in its rightful place. Once this prophecy happens, once this child is at its right age to do what they have to do, everything is going to be put in its right place. If you don't have clarity about who you are, you're going to. Okay, you're going to. Tell me more. You could be somebody very talented, very gifted, okay? That's also another message I'm getting. Tell me about this prophesized child. Yeah, there we go, very gifted in the arts. You could be a musician, maybe you can play the piano without any lessons or uh, guitar, something like that artistic. It's like you're just very good naturally, right? you have no idea maybe that these people are looking for you but you feel maybe like even secret societies are following you see since you were a baby it's this reminds me of Moses when you were a baby people knew already about you you were prophesized since a baby they knew about you I'm telling you I'm telling you comment below Maji got the Tito Maji got the Tito You're going to become somebody that people can trust. And for the right reasons, too. I see, like, you're not from here. You're a galactical being here, okay? Look, you're going to play a role in this biblical times. I'm hearing there's a prophecy that happened here already in the biblical times. 
like I said in that video, it's coming up again. Yeah. You could be the reincarnation of somebody biblical. Like I said, you could have grown up in a farm. Okay, somebody here could have grown up in a farm or maybe like you, you don't know, but like your parents like brought you to a farm so they can keep you away from the city. They left you, they had to leave and pack their bags. But you grew up in a farm. You're somebody that is like a high priestess, high priest. You're definitely intuitive, psychic. You know about mysteries. There's something about your mom. Okay, connect with your mom. Try to channel your mom. She knows something. This mother figure around you knew something about you. There's something about maybe you learned how to read very early at your age. Um, or you were just very astute. You knew how to play certain instruments. Maybe you could have told your parents that you remember your past life. There's just something here about that. Okay? But it's going to happen and it's already happening. They're kind of gathering up. They're trying to find you is the message that's coming in, all right? They're trying to find you because soon we will be reaching and tapping into that new earth energy. So pay attention to your dreams, the visions that you're getting. This is how the universe is going to try to communicate with you and this particular chosen one, all right? Good luck. Sending you so much love and light. And whatever it is you're going to do on this earth, I know it's going to be amazing and positive. And so if there's nothing to worry about, just kind of give this video a thumbs up if this is your video, honestly, because I just put a tea for you. <laughs> Anyways, bye-bye.